Now we find in the Old Testament that God called upon his people to give thanks in so many different ways and so many different situations. 2 Samuel 22 and verse 50. Therefore I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. In fact, in the worship of the people of God in the Old Testament, there were those who were especially appointed to commemorate and to give thanks. Have a look at this verse, 1 Chronicles 16, verse 4. And he appointed some of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, to commemorate, which means to remember, to thank and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. So thanksgiving was an, impo an important part of Old Testament worship. People were designated by God to give thanks, and it was a continual process. And so that encourages us to know how we should be giving thanks at all times. We should always make provision, permanent provision, for giving thanks. Now another Hebrew word is toda, which also means give thanks. Now toda is the most common Hebrew word for thanksgiving in the Old Testament. Like yada, it implies speech and activity. It implies speech. Toda, giving thanks. It's vocal. It's not enough just to say, well, I'm thankful in my heart. You try that in your human relationships. If you never express thanks, people aren't going to think you're thankful. But the moment you express thanks, it does something for you. It releases you. It completes the experience. It shows your gratitude. It opens your heart. And it also blesses the person that has blessed you. Now, uh, toda, the use of toda in the Old Testament implies exactly what yada implies, but it adds another element. It adds a formal element. And this suggests that we can yada God anywhere, but toda is formalized. It's offering to God thanksgiving in the context of worship. 